Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. Hey, did you see a couple of guys on the road just now? They robbed me, bastards. And this is Kelsey Love. And I've updated her appearance since her last iteration. You actually can't really see it too well since it's dark. Uh, I might have. What did they look like? I don't know. They looked like regular guys. There were two of them. One had very bright red hair, and the other one was wearing some kind of helmet. Are you alright? Did they hurt you? No, I'm not alright. They took my favorite rifle, and some other stuff. I do have a pistol with me, but I've got no ammo for it, and my leg is hurt. No offense, but you don't seem injured and you still have your gear. Is this some kind of scam? I used all my medical supplies on my leg. That's why I'm moving around so well. But it's still sore. And it's impossible for me to prove I've been robbed. You'll just have to believe me. I am telling the truth. Oh, wait. I found this. They dropped it. The thieves dropped it. Uh... I suppose you'd like me to help you fix your problem. Give you a weapon and ammo or caps, maybe? No, I don't need caps. But my pistol is currently useless to me. So I do need ammo or a different weapon to go after them. Are you thinking of chasing after chasing these guys down? Oh, 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 and I, I have to say something. Uh, people were wondering how she, how the, why the bandits would just leave her after they took her stuff and her gun. Well, I guess she used the rest of her ammo and her pistol to chase them off. Huh. I'm not going to give you anything, but maybe we could I'd work out a deal if you want my help. I have no caps to pay you, so how about this? After we get my stuff back, I'll travel with you for a while. I'm a great shot. I started hunting with my dad when I was a little kid. Plus, I'm a lot of fun to have around. I'll agree to that. But what if we don't find your stuff? Then what? I don't want to consider that possibility. But I'll travel with you for a while, whether we find my stuff or not. That seems fair. Okay, I'll do it. Let's get ready to go. I'm Willow, by the way. It's nice to meet you. And thank you so much. This means the world to me. So, anyway. Time for the answer. It's time for the answers to the questions that we're wondering. This is not my mom. This is Willow, a better companion experience. But now I have made her Kelsey. They have similar... I'm trying to get a peek at her eyes, which I changed to green. They have similar personalities. And they're both pansexual. Assuming I even know what the hell pansexual means. Anyway, let's talk to her again. Are you ready? Uh... Can I ask you some personal questions? Sure, I don't mind. Why were you alone when I found you? I hadn't been in the Mojave long. I'd arrived at the Mojave outpost a few days before, and had already split up with my last travel companion. I tried to find a new companion, but couldn't. So I packed up and headed out. It was very unlucky that I got into trouble. I've been on the road for almost two years now, and that was about as bad as it's ever gotten for me. Although, I did lose my dog, Big George, on the trip. He was killed by geckos. That was my worst day. Do you want to tell me what happened to your dog? He got ahead of me on the trail and got the scent of the geckos. I'm not sure exactly what happened because he was ahead of me. But I heard a yelp and I came around a bend in the trail and he'd fallen off the edge of a little precipice the geckos were below with him. By the time I got down to them and shot all the geckos, he was dead. He'd broken one of his legs in the fall and he couldn't defend himself. I, I buried him as best I could and slept there that night with him and then the next morning I said goodbye and left him forever. Oh, that's so sad. Really, really, I'm not being sarcastic. That, that was Oh, that was touching. Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> do you ever get lonely traveling by yourself? Yes, I do. 
even though I'm rarely alone. I had hoped to meet someone special, maybe someone who would want to come with me on the road, or maybe someone would like me enough to want me to stay with them. But even though I've met and traveled with a lot of people in the last two years, I have been unlucky in love and friendship. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maybe you'll get lucky sooner than you think. Yeah? You think? Can I see that pistol of yours? I don't know if I have ammo for it or not. Oh, sure. Of course. Nine millimeter. Okay. Take this. Let's get going. Great! Listen, I want to tell you exactly what I lost, so you'll know what to look for, okay? You know about my rifle, Beauty, that's what I call her. And there are two other things, Chester, a teddy bear I've had forever, and Moira, a doll. I hope we find the toys. I'm embarrassed to admit this, and I know it sounds stupid, but I do love them. Thanks again for helping me. All right, we have Willow, I mean, Kelsey Love. <laughs> I forgot to ask, what's your name? My name's Courier Six. Thanks again for your help. And uh, since I've already played through this mod, uh, it's absolutely the best companion mod I've ever encountered. Blows the vanilla companions way straight out of the water. And, uh, yeah. Whoa, Larry. Whoa. A can't sorry. Whoa. No wonder my happy heart sings. Your love is giving me wings. <laughs> well, we'll see how Niner does. But anyway. Willow, a better companion experience, gets a 10 out of 10. Incredibly good mod. And uh, you will see why. She has many, many quests. She's romanceable. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and, uh. No, nah, well, yeah. She's romanceable. Her appearance is not, however, done. Since I can't edit her apparel into after I've already started romancing her. And apparel isn't always clothing. Hint, hint, wink, wink. If you know Kelsey, you might know what I'm talking about. If not, then you don't know Kelsey. And you're stupid. And stuff. Ah, uh, I'm hungry. Crap. Uh, what flashlight? This will do. There. I need more survival skill. As yeah, so survival goes up, the uh, rate that food uh, both heals you and gives you a fix and provides provides sustenance increases. So yeah. Let's go over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Ancient truck. Let's see what's in here. Bottles. Hey, hey. What's this? That's it. It's a potato. Might. I don't know how it could possibly be fresh. Considering how old this freaking truck is. Thank you, nuts. I guess they really good get good at preserving stuff. Also, I don't know why you don't find any pickled food to fall out. Because, really, that's stuff that would survive. Oh, it's pickled. 
that's something that's gonna last 200 years. Not like all this other crap pre-war food they say survives. Like dandy boy apples. Really, fruit? No. Unless they're jam-packed with all kinds of preservatives, which makes you question even more about eating them. Hello. Hey there. Need anything? I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Here's what I got. And here we have caravan cards. I actually can't play caravan yet, since I forgot to get the deck from that one guy. It, it's just a stupid card game. Ooh, mini nukes. Time. Uh huh. With my blank. Do you have anything useful? Where's that water? I'm collecting dirty water because I can purify it later. Brown steak. And collect turpentine, it's useful. You can use it to make drugs. Yes, turpentine and drugs. Yes. You already know how that is going to end. In tears. A6, do you want some chips? Picked out most of the green parts. Hey, A6? What's up? Goodbye. Okay, see ya. Not sure why I talked to him just now. <laughs> I'm slowly losing my mind, it seems. God damn, look at that giant dick waving statue. NCR, humble as always. So, NCR Ranger, Desert Ranger. Uh, something about unification. Basically, the Desert Rangers were getting the crap kicked out of them by uh, Caesar's Legion. And you know what? It's explained on this plaque. Read it. Pause the video and read it. Done? Okay. What this guy has to do with the Mojave Outpost. What's with all the looking, Mr. Looking? Ice forward, soldier boy. Yes, that crazy crouching and whatever was me figuring out how to walk again. Now, I'll see you in the next episode.